What's up guys? Uh, for everybody that sees my channel or has watched my videos, my name is James, hence the name of the YouTube channel. But uh, today I'm going to try something new. Now, people who have seen my channel and people who will probably see my channel in the future will know that I do a lot of music covers. I love music. I love guitar. I'm not really the greatest guitarist. Uh, honestly, I probably will never be, but I do it as a hobby. So I love playing. Uh, my mom bought me my first guitar. It was a Fender Stratocaster Cherry Red with white pick guard. And I was probably about seven or eight years old and I've been playing off and on for uh, almost 20 years. So, but uh, this is where pretty much how this video starts is I had done a few videos earlier. It was the resistance and burn it down by skillet. I am looking into doing some drowning pool bodies, uh, fight like the devil by on lap and also otherwise die for you, which is all in drop C and I'm going to be playing it on this beautiful masterpiece that I've gotten recently. It is a Sterling music man majesty and it's got the flame red maple top which, I mean, you can, yeah, you can see it a little bit right there with a Sterling Tremolo, Damasio pickups, and a 4x2 headstock. So just a beautiful, beautiful guitar. But when I did those videos today, I got a comment. Which, don't get me wrong, look, all comments are accepted, okay? Criticism of all types are accepted. Criticism helps individuals greatly. Some people don't really like it. I am one of the few that do. And that's because criticism can help you build yourself up. You know, build up your confidence, build up your skill, pretty much motivate you to do better. But after I got these videos done, a little bit later after I posted it, I received a comment from an individual named F.A., if I'm not mistaken. And he basically told me, nice job, man. It was great. Have you ever thought about going into vlogs? I started thinking about it, and uh, you know, I never really thought about it. Well, he saw that I was a truck driver, and which we'll get into in a minute because of a video that I was in recently, or I say recently, it was back in November, but he had seen me in a video, a towing channel. Uh, unfortunately, I was in an accident, and because of that accident, they made a video, the towing people, uh, which I believe their names were Ron Pratt. And by the way, Ron, if you ever see this, thank you so much for what y'all did. Y'all really helped me out in a bad time. But he had saw me in that video, and I guess when he saw that I was a truck driver, he thought it'd be pretty cool if you know, I did vlogs or whatnot. So that's basically what we're going off of right now. I am going to still continue to do music covers, but I am also going to do daily vlogs, probably once or twice, maybe three times a day. Uh, show you all where I've been, where I'm going, what I'm hauling, and maybe give you a little insight. Maybe encourage people to be truck drivers because we really need them right now. Uh, we don't really have a lot on hand, especially people that are willing to do what we do. So take me for example. I have a family, so I go home usually about every four weeks. But when I first started, you know, I was single. Well, technically I am still single now. But, you know, I was out six, seven weeks at a time. Almost two, three months. So it just depends on how I felt. But, uh, but I guess let's start off at where this individual found me and then was a part of my channel. So back in November, I was hauling a load of lumber that was going from Mississippi over to Scottsdale, Missouri. So as I'm getting there, I'm like 15, maybe 20 miles away and there was a truck coming up. It was a 1500 Dodge white. I start coming up on them. And I start realizing, you know, I need to get over. You know, I'm getting pretty close. I'm not close enough to create an accident. I'm at least two truck lengths away. Plenty of time to stop. Which, by the way, synopsis of this story is don't hard break a semi. Don't cut them off. It's really hard for us to avoid you. And then, if unlike me, there's some people out there that won't even try to avoid you. So don't act crazy around truck drivers. I know we're we're not saints. I know we're not, but y'all could avoid us a lot easier than we can avoid you. But basically, as I'm coming up on this individual, I start realizing I need to go ahead and get over. I'm gonna pass this guy, no problem. I'm doing 68 right now, it's like a 70 mile an hour zone. So I go ahead and put my turn signal on from the left lane. I look over, nobody's coming. Look behind me, nobody's coming. 
So I look at him again, gauge my distance. Okay, I am getting a little bit closer now. I need to go ahead and shift. I look over one more time to make sure I'm clear, which I was. As I look back forward to check him, he heartbreaks me instantly. All I see are red tail lights. I was able to avoid him, get around, and when I did though, I got close enough, which if anybody that watches this knows about semi-trucks, I was in a 2020 Freightliner. Most 2018 Freightliner Internationals and some Volvos that have automatic shifting, which I am in an automatic now. I have not driven a standard in almost three years. But uh, with the Detroit Assurance motor, the engine, which are in those model trucks of those years, come with a sensor called a collision warning. And what happens is when you get close enough to an object, okay, which is kind of a lie because I've come up the bridges with shadows under them and my collision warning activates. Not fully like it did this time, but there'd be a little bit of resistance. You know, you might hear Jake's pop on, whatever, which Jake, Jake brakes, you know, engine deterrence. It basically just helps you slow down the vehicle. Uh, but when it activated, I was already around him. Never hit the guy. But when it activated, it actually stopped me at about 68 miles an hour to zero in about 30 seconds. I might have skid my tires about three or four yards before I came to a complete stop. It was insanity. I didn't think it was ever possible. I was always told that it could happen. Never experienced it, never saw it happen. I am a true believer now. But I, I then was in the accident. So my lumber load that was behind me, it cut all my straps went through the headache rack and punched in the back end of my truck. And my dog, which, wait, Ray. Which, if you see her in the video, that is my dog, Winry. She rides with me everywhere I go. Uh, she was at home for a little bit with my little boy, but I decided that, uh, you know, I'd like to have her back out here. She really makes the day go by quicker. And uh, she was actually thrown up into the windshield, which, I am a dog lover. That is like my daughter. She holds just as much standing as my son. And she gets hurt, I'm mad. But I was fine. I was wearing my seatbelt. I didn't get jarred too bad. Uh, my back was a little, you know, iffy for a little bit, but nothing major. You know, I got right out, assessed the situation, make sure everything was fine. And I was going to go check on the, the dude, even though he hard broke me, but he actually fled the scene. So I called safety, I called the state police, had them come out, and because I fortunately had a camera, we were able to track him down. We got his make, model, and his license plate number. It turns out he was a construction worker going down just a few more miles down the road to go to work. Because he fled though, he was apprehended and he was arrested, which Missouri State, thank you very much. Uh, because I am just fortunate they found him, really. Because if I didn't have my camera, there was nobody around. <laughs> nobody would have believed me, really. Probably would have thought I was just an idiot truck driver, just like everybody else thinks. But, you know, they took care of everything. They got me towed and whatnot. And through this whole ordeal, that's how the guy found me. Oh, and by the way, it turns out the place I was delivering to was directly behind the towing company. So they just towed my truck over there, took the lumber load to them, and they accepted everything. No rejection. Uh, no loss. So and much appreciated for that as well. But that's how this guy found me, was through this video. And he's left me comments here and there, and pretty much today, he just wanted to know about vlogs. So there, where you are, we're here. So I am gonna start doing vlogs uh, daily. Uh, probably once or twice a day. Might do one when I'm driving, you know, try to give you all some scenery, a little bit of insight in the day, where I'm heading, where I'm going, how long it's going to take me. Uh, just have a little adventure, you know. I will say this, being a truck driver uh, really is it's satisfying because I have been to more places in the country I live in than I probably would have ever. See, I'm a Louisiana boy. I live over there on Toledo Bend off the lake and... That's all I knew. <laughs> my first load I ever did when I was a truck driver, when I first started, was to New York City from Salt Lake City. And I thought Salt Lake City was bad. Utah, I thought it was big. When I went over the George Washington Parkway and entered the Bronx going towards New York, holy crap, 
that was impressive. I mean, the skyscrapers were just immense. It was ridiculous. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're going to try to do. So I guess I'm going to leave you guys off with this. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like my videos, and all is welcome. And like I said, y'all want to leave comments about the videos, I would appreciate it. It really helps me out to either see what I'm doing wrong or see what I'm doing great at. And I can work with it, you know. You guys work with me, I'll give you some pretty good content. Uh, but I hope everything works out with this because I think uh, we can make this into a pretty cool deal. So I guess that's it, guys. Signing off. I'm going to be up at 6 in the morning, start hanging out at 645, and I'm going to be battling Houston. I'll see you then.